Hey man, again, I think this is happening. I'm going to record something just for you here. Thank you for submitting uh, your character concept idea. Okay, and um, I don't know, are you seeing this? Yeah, you are. Good. You, I think you are seeing this. Good. All right, so I'm going to zoom in here and I'm going to talk about references, silhouette, and proportions and see how it goes. Okay, all right, let's do this, my friend. Um, I'm just going to hide these references and just going to quickly analyze what you have here. I think this looks really cool. Okay, and I see that you've been painting well. I got, I like the shadow, I, I like the background light. Um, the neck seems very elongated here for now. Um, all right, so let's see what you could do with that. I think what you, I mean, obviously, you could bring that down, right? Uh, what I'd like you to do as well, uh, I like the feet, by the way, and the proportions. Uh, it, I, I think you need to look at more references, okay? So I don't know if, you, I'm sure you have, anyway. Um, let's see what I can do here, okay? So I'm looking at this now, and I'm saying, here's the chest cavity, okay? Like that, and here's the hip. Okay, so that's cool, and I see you trying to get a to get an S curve going here. Uh, one, two, three, and this is sh uh, foreshortened here. I could see that. Um, very cool. Let's look at let's look at the shoulder here, and then that comes down one, two. That's gone back in in space. Um, I'm having a bit. I think this this is a little tough move here. Right, I think it's it's like I can't even do that. Right, so I think in terms of silhouette, you're on your way. Perhaps just go here, right, and then uh, we've got the palm and then the cigarette. I mean, let's just be clear: um, cigarette characters in high school, not a good thing. This is distance learning. And I'm just reviewing your work. That wasn't just for the record. I didn't ask for a character with a cigarette, okay? All right, cool. Uh, the fingers open like this. Um, in England, that means something else. Um, okay, so looking over here, I think there's a gap over here. Um, proportionally, it's not bad, okay? I'm not sure, but like, you know what? It's cool. I mean, there's this distance here. It might be too much, but that's something you can wear. So I would say bring the neck down. Uh, sorry, the head down, okay? Um, that's cool. And in terms of silhouette, I think this would read better. However, I did some research, and um, I have a suggestion, couple suggestions for you, okay? So um, let's see what we got with my research, and we'll go from there. I think uh, what I saw is the head turning the other way would be cool. Uh, I'm going to hide this for a second. I'm just going to zoom in on your layer. And um, Feel free to perhaps, <clears throat> I know this is very 2D like what you've done. The angle of the wrist is a little off. I'm not, I'm not even going to go there right now, okay? So um, let's just make it, okay, so I'm not going to get that technical, okay? So this, to me, I don't think anybody holds their cigarette like this, so be careful with that, okay? Um, the eyes, I think I, I'd like you to look at a uh, couple uh, new artists, okay? And uh, I'm going to write it down right now. It's Stephen. Uh, silver okay this guy is a legend uh, this other fellow um, let me just try to remember his name um, I know him as, as a cheek I think it's Sean Galloway okay so Sean and I, I believe it's G anyway let's just try this Galloway here and he does something interesting with eyes, okay? Um, and his eyes are kind of, again, like, I think he does certain eyes like this, but his his eyes are colored in, so you'll go like this. And, of course, you can go over it and clean your lines or whatever. And then you know, he just comes in here and, let me crank this open. This is not the, br no, this one here, yeah. And basically he darkens this in entirely and it's it's very stylized i think that would work better for you than um, the same idea and let's just do this for now and and then something like this but you only have that okay so that's not bad um and in your your eyes are basically it's ovals two ovals like this and it's going like that okay um i think i think that's a good it's a good start However, if you just you just you just do this here, and then we'll make that the reflection, okay? And I think that could work better. And and second, stylistically, let's avoid the oval, um, because to me it's it's more like 
um, it's symmetrical so we want to get rid of symmetry right and another thing is the eyes just so you know this this is oh like it's a big sphere here right it's a big sphere so the idea is this is another one and I want to be able to work so I can create depth somehow okay there's your um, so this to me anyway it's just I think you should try different methods and I can find you some some references but it, I think that works this is the Sean Galloway method uh, it's very simplified uh, but it works for him okay this is more of um, of, of the reflection and so on okay so your airbrushing and all that is cool I like that um, it works uh, the eyebrows now that's another one okay that's the reason why I'm, I'm asking for people this week to work on that maquette that the planes right okay so let me just see I'm gonna hide this layer and say bye let's make another layer here and what was I just talking about the forehead the eyes the chin I forgot. Oh yeah, the eyebrows, eyebrows, eyebrows. Okay, so the reason why we did that that study. Okay, so look, if I have this right now, and I'm gonna go like that, I'm gonna go here, and I'm following what you've done here, and I'm gonna go in here, I'm gonna go up, and then you've got the neck, uh, something like this. And what I would do is have one higher, one lower, if you can. Right? Remember, this goes back like that. Right? So uh, obviously, yours is more stylized and it's wider okay let's go with that okay so remember this exercise that we did at the beginning of the week right you did you, your submissions were really good okay so look one two like I'm just gonna go like this for now this angle here right so if I if I have an eye here okay what do you have, you have the happy mouth okay got it got it okay so uh, let me go with a little something darker uh, okay so like let's let's try to go hide low try to put an S in there if you can also I'm gonna try to fatten this up see if I can pull this off here here uh, yeah that might work okay so check it out I'm just gonna zoom in here in relation to yours okay let's bring this down and so what we want this basically is is a change of planes okay change of plane is here that's really thick so we got one going like that we got this happening okay look so we got this happening here so this needs to wrap okay okay so look and I've got this happening and so on and so on and so on like let's just take this back to the ear here and then we got the muzzle that comes down got all these Okay, watch the Clone Wars. It'll show you a lot, okay? So, and I'll just move all that I just created for you. Yeah, like that, and see ya, somewhere down here. Okay, so what I'm trying to say with the eyebrows, okay? The eyebrows also give us dimension. Let's see if I could figure that out for you, okay? So I'm um, looking at my eyes right now, and I'm just going to say to you like this. Look, here, let me just make so let's go like this and then go around okay so in a way what you're doing now is you're creating another plane here see that's going here you're going up you can recede it there and then always turn 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 and this one um, I'm looking at yours okay so this could be lower if you want okay so this continuous thing so you can go boom boom like we gotta find the plane changes so my, for me here's a plane change here's a plane change see like that okay and there's other uh, actually another layer over here but I'm not gonna touch that yet so to me this would work better for you so if we went here and then we're gonna make that a little smaller let me just see here I'm just gonna go something like that okay and then you've got this happening okay and then in this area and then we've got and again nothing is parallel here okay so you see how it goes wide to narrow to wide or whatever right so th those are important parts I think I think that could work better for you okay I should make that darker uh, hopefully that reads better for you okay there boom and then I'm cutting it off like I gotta spend more time here and trying to get this to work Ooh, this is parallel see I did I did the mistake here so what I do sometimes is I I try to understand the planes boom boom so one two three 
So with those three, I can get an oval here, and this turns down, down, and so on. Okay, I hope this makes sense to you. Okay, okay, so this is probably taking forever, dude. Ten minutes, not bad. All for you. Let's do it. Okay, so I think I think um, this part here, I think you, you need a bit of dimensionality, okay? So and then, and then, yeah, I get that. Boom, boom, whatever. This goes over. That goes even more. And here I taper out. Okay, wrong, bad color choices by me. Okay. All right. And so on. And so this would all be pushed down more. Okay. And I'm not, okay, so I got to say this. Okay, so I think for me as well, I don't, I don't know why this character is standing like that. And I don't know why he's smoking. I don't know the story. So it's kind of hard to pull all of what I said off. Okay. So think about it and you need to basically ask yourself uh, is there is there a reason why this character is is smoking right so those are kind of things your character in a way needs to imply and um, personally i don't know why and again you've got this 50s rockabilly hairdo going on and now is this is this a period piece i don't know right so you need to you need to think about these kind of things okay so i'm just i'm just sketching while i'm talking i don't know why but to me that's more fun and of course um so you know what i mean so this hairdo is a very much a period it's a rockabilly thing um so figure it out uh, ask yourself what is my story okay Let's see what else. Oh man, like see. Okay, bye bye to that. Okay, let's bring some references in. All right. Okay, I spend a few minutes online, more than a few minutes, to find these images for you. Okay, again, I'm sorry. Anybody who's watching out there, it's not my fault. Manigan here is the one who wanted to have something uh, with smoking. I have no idea why. Manigan doesn't make any sense. Let's forget it. However, if this was a challenge for you, uh, let's go with a layer above this one. Look how cool this is. Okay, so this guy's got. Uh, what am I doing here? Let me just draw it like this, but this guy has a scarf. The scarf is cool, and I like the high and the low shoulder, okay? This guy is in, is in stride and has one hand in the pocket. So if you're not comfortable with the hand, I like the fact that you're stylizing this, but um, the hands don't taper. They go in a curve. See here? Curve, curve, the knuckles. So, and then what people do is they, they you know, um, you know what you you kind of separate them if you look closely at artists okay so be careful with that so what you could do here is basically say this this hand is in the pocket okay uh, sorry this arm is in the pocket and boom we're going like that and so on okay so let's look what else do we got this pose here now this one's a good pose however in silhouette compare the two in silhouette I wouldn't see anything here all I would see is a cool pose but here, uh, this guy is actually turning that way. So imagine that head looking that way using a guy like this. That would be kind of cool. Okay. So your guy is looking this way. You can have him look that way and, you know, like take reference from this guy possibly. Okay. And let's, let's, let's make it something happen here. Let's see. What else do I have here? This guy is just standing there. See what I mean by a guy like here, you're, you're perfectly fine. You're looking and then what's stopping you from, you know, having the arm and the cigarette sticking out here, whatever. Okay. Um, this guy's in stride, very stylized, got the jacket like you do, like over shadow. Look at the shadow here like what you have this is a little more stylish okay um, this is another guy in stride and what's stopping that happening from the cigarette there like whatever right uh, this dude's pose is very model based okay and this guy's walking and smoking this would be tough to pull off but if we had if we had his arm out here and and you're holding a bag maybe uh, a knapsack or whatever that goes like that on you okay look at these this one work in silhouette but it's it just i know this guy's walking because it's in context right so here um this pose okay um it's it's interesting right we've got that happening and then we've got the head boom body one two three one two three okay so this is a tough one to pull off in silhouette but 
it's it's different poses so what I'm saying to you is uh, please take the time I like the direction you're going bring like 30 images and I don't care like then and like it's tough right but this is free man I had to go to the library and sit and look at Vogue magazines and GQ mags to to get inspired about fashion what I wanted to wear in the past right you you just type stuff in and here we go but you know so let's let's stylize them and uh, let's let's see what other style you can pull off for this head okay get some um, artist Sean Galloway I know we talked about Luigi Luigi has some cool stuff Lucarelli uh, Steven Silver is a god in this world of illustration and characters you'll you'll recognize a lot of his characters let's let's and then like you know get an awesome pose and then uh, find why this hairdo is like that what references do you have to make this hair work okay so you know uh, can we can we like maybe have this part and that come down and I, I don't know the style why you're going like this is definitely like you know this is me thinking out loud here there's a there's a biker jacket here that goes like this okay and this and goes here boom the the sleeve goes out like that hand right and I like what you're doing here, okay? But this has a collar, and you you know what biker jackets are. They're really cool. And I use the word rockabilly. Look it up. Uh, so you can stylize it, right? And here, um, let's talk about this. Like maybe have them shorter or have socks come out or like this is getting lost for me. Maybe it's the style you're going with. How about you take that and add something else on it okay so I've spent a lot of time on this and I don't mind but you know tell me what you think um, let's let's continue with this you have definitely this is your own thing it has nothing to do with um, the assignment with our characters in relation to uh, the project we're doing at the moment okay so you know uh, let, let's see this is good stuff I'm you you know you're doing your own thing you're expanding your repertoire and um, let's let's try different styles right now and there's no need to render at this point okay so I would just suggest uh, drawing on paper taking an image bring it into the document I'm having that problem with um, on my iPad I'm, I'm not comfortable I can't I can't draw and paint on the iPad I could sit here and paint here I can paint in Photoshop but in, in like people are doing amazing work on their iPads or whatever tablets they have I can't do it so even for me I would I'm thinking now is I should draw on paper in relation to the references or bring the references and sketch it out back and forth play around um, and see where you go okay so don't wait don't spend time uh, rendering okay that means shading all that let's keep it crude meaning uh, wireframe or like everything is pencil based whatever you're doing I have you know let's see where this is going okay see you later good to, uh, good to have stuff from you thank you and good luck bye bye